Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hi, it's great to see you all. How you doing, John? Hey, Art. Good to see you. Uh, welcome, everybody, to Celebrating Act 2, the Founders Blog. The log. The log. Video log. Blog. There was, you know what? Uh, it sort of reminds me of, uh, was it the Young Frankenstein or something like that, where they, uh, oh, no, no, the man with two brains, where Steve Martin would say Mahalgame or something was the name of the person. <laughs> <laughs> Mahalgame. Yeah. The log. Yeah. Feels like a foreign language to me. Anyway, Art, I've got an interesting uh, uh, tidbit for you. Oh. Um, right by me, there's a 24-hour fitness, and I just noticed for the first time the other day that the 24-hour fitness sign on the top of the building hmm. is gone, has been erased, wiped out, and it's replaced by something called eSports, eSporta. Hmm. I don't know what that is, but I assume it's a... Uh, fitness place, but I was curious to see that tw that particular 24-hour fitness um, location did not survive the pandemic. And um, well, I don't I actually. Apply, but... That's an interesting point. I don't know that it was pandemic. 24-hour fitness, I think, about a year and a half ago, before the pandemic was acquired by another company. Oh, so, so they might just have been a, a lousy location. They shut it down. Right. Yeah. They they just shut it down. Maybe the lease ran out, or. Yeah. Or, and actually that's interesting, I want to take a look later today after we're off the air. Uh, I wonder if eSports is not a subsidiary or new activity of 24-hour fitness, the new management, and maybe they're repurposing some of their places. But you never know. This, this particular location did not do what a lot of gyms did during the pandemic. They did not put their stuff outside uh, and open and have an open air gym for people. Right. Uh, that was very common around here because, you know, Southern California, mm -hmm. nice weather. You can exercise pretty much anywhere. Right. Outside. Well, well, as you know, I um, I actually have membership in uh, two gyms through my yep. Silver Sneakers program, yep. uh, which is, by the way, if anybody has it as part of their, their Medicare supplement or their own plans, Silver Sneakers allows you to join any number of gyms. You don't pay for it, but you get full use of that gym. Yeah, it's got it's it's some kind of deal with the insurance companies, isn't it? Uh, yeah, the insurance companies goes to a third party, which is Silver Sneakers, and yeah. United Healthcare, which is one of the larger ones, actually dropped Silver Sneakers and started their own because I guess they wanted to make the money on it. But basically, what they do is they offer twenty-four hour fitness and and the Y and a lot of other places the opportunity to probably get a couple of bucks for each time one of the Silver Sneakers shows up who might not otherwise have joined their gym. Right. So they have lots of empty equipment around there all the time anyway. So uh, I guess it works out for everybody. Yeah. But the Silver Sneakers program, I I'm fascinated by it because it's very good. I I'm a member as well. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, I'm not the member that goes to the gym very often. <laughs> <laughs> um, what I like is I like their videos. They, they do um, great videos, exercise videos. They do. Um, and... Um, they have new sometimes they have nutrition tips and mostly it's videos and my problem with it is they're gorgeous young people uh, doing stuff that i could never do <laughs> but you're a go you're a gorgeous young person i am in yeah. my in my mind yeah, i am yeah, yeah you've told me that a number of times <laughs> but in any event as you know before the pandemic actually i used to go to the gym about five days a week at various hours right. uh, i went to 24 hour fitness which i've been going to for about 10 years and uh, there's a, a, a sweet spot of between 6.30 and 7 in the morning. I know that you're, you're not exactly sure that those hours exist other than you've been told that. Yeah. Uh, but that's a sweet spot for me. I, I understand there's a lot of people that actually go to work at that hour. I, I can't fathom that. But... Work? I, I mean, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, and traffic. Uh, well, we've, we've worked from home for the last uh, uh, six or seven years that we've been doing this yeah. shtick. Actually, the last two or three years, but uh, uh, but anyway, there's a group of regulars that uh, you know that we just acknowledge each other. Sometimes uh, when I do, let's say a half hour, forty minutes on the bike, at twenty four hour fitness. So we have all these regulars, and uh, so we know each other, and it's nice to catch up. And they have a much more extensive uh, setup than the Y. Yes, I think I think the term is gym rat. 
Yes, gym rats. Yeah. So we have we are gym rats. Yeah. And uh, as a matter of fact, some of them have been very useful. Uh, one of them gave me a, a great uh, lead when I wanted to replace my heating air conditioning. Got a great deal. Uh, just it was a gym rat named Jim. Yeah. Uh, and then we've got my uh, one of my favorites is uh, Freddie. It must be a brother of yours, uh, uh, Freddie Coleman, uh, oh, who's sure. uh, uh, I think he's already ninety. Something like that. But in any event, so, uh, but I haven't been there for a year, but I started going back to the Y about five or six weeks ago. And they have plexiglass between everything. And they have, as you said, an outside area. And uh, they have gym classes again, but much more widely spaced. All yeah. there, uh, you know, you see all these guys on the bicycles. Now they split it up into two rooms and the people are much further apart. Uh, and I felt very comfortable there, and uh, there's plenty of uh, uh, disinfectants to wipe down your machine before and after. Right. And they do ask you to do that. You need a mask walking to and from everything in the Y, but you can take it off while you're on the equipment. Uh, but then on the other hand, I started about three weeks ago, going back to 24-hour fitness, uh, and I'm back about four or five days a week now, depending on what time I have. The Y is five... five Half a mile from my house, the 24-hour fitness is about four miles. So I go to the Y more often. But uh, I feel very comfortable there. But the Y lets you take off a mask while you're on your equipment. But you need Makes it sense. walking around. 24-hour fitness up until this weekend <clears throat> required masks all the time. Hmm. Although I have, didn't look at the people running heavily on the uh, uh, Treadmill. treadmills. But everybody's doing the more... Uh, uh, less intensive things, whether it be weightlifting or anything else, nobody takes off their mask. Although yeah. I did notice, I went on Sunday morning, and uh, they had taken off, what they did at 24 Hour Fitness is they put a little thing saying, this machine out of service, every other machine. When I went back Sunday in other words, morning... Uh, in other words, only every other machine was available. Right. That's so, how they separated people. That's how they separated people. But uh, yesterday... Uh, uh, those signs were off. So I think uh, in California, they're going through a whole new thing about next week, they're going to reduce, re re reduce a lot of the restrictions. Uh, so I wonder if that's part of that. Uh, but they haven't been getting a whole lot busier, which is nice in a way, because there's always your favorite piece of equipment that's still available, which yeah. wasn't always true before pandemic. Yeah. But uh, so a lot of regulars, uh, and there have been some, I think, 24-hour fitness has actually been open for four well, five months now. Uh, I just didn't feel comfortable going back up till now, but I do now. Look, I've had also had my shots. Uh, so, you know, my personal risk is not very high I, in my mind. Uh, but uh, again, wearing masks, uh, a lot of uh, hand sanitizing, wipe right. down your machine. So uh, I feel well, it's good. good. About it. I, what now did you let me ask you this? Did you not exercise for a year? If, you, well, if you've only been going back for a couple of months. No. Well, uh, as, a, as, a, as a matter of fact, we have an upcoming uh, episode on this a uh, couple of weeks. There's something called in, in Southern California, or actually uh, in, yeah, in Orange County, called an emeritus program through the community college program. Right. And uh, what I did was I uh, signed up for online Tai Chi classes. Oh, okay. And at one point, uh, for both... I guess uh, the uh, spring and fall or winter, whatever, of last year, of yeah. 2020, going into early 2021, I was taking Tai Chi online, seven classes, I enrolled in seven classes a week, and I got the most oh, of them. Okay. And each yeah. of them were two hours, one hour of warm-ups, which are, get fairly intensive as far as cardio, and yeah. then another hour they, of... They are, there are cardio? Well, the warm ups the, are the warm cardio? Yeah, actually, uh, I know that you, you've seen them and it doesn't look like it. You know, you, you're just doing this. Yeah, and the movements are relatively slow. It's cardio, it's, everything's moving around. Yeah, huh. it, it gets okay. you your circuit. As a matter of fact, you can feel certain portions of your body really warming up. You know, I, 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 we've talked about it's this just, before. It's deceptive. I, I, I can see Tai Chi, you know, exercising and movement and all of that, but I don't see. Uh, how you get a, the cardio effect out of it because you're not 
you're not really elevating your breathing or heart rate, are you? Well, yeah, you're doing deep breathing. Yeah, breathing in. Breathing yeah, out. So you're, you're not forcing that. Isn't isn't cardio getting your heart rate? I don't know. Up. If if we if if either one of us really knew what we were talking about, we would have finished <laughs> medical school and we would have had a ton of money and we wouldn't even care about knowing each other. That's right. <laughs> we'd be young and healthy. We'd, we'd be young and healthy, and re or we'd be we'd be old and wealthy. Yeah. Anyway, it's good that you're you're getting back. It's good that everybody's getting back to the gym. I even I went know. to the. I even went to as you know. I used to go to the beach every Sunday morning, to practice tai chi with a bunch of friends. And during the summers on Saturday at a at a yeah. park in Dana Point, uh, and I w went to a Sunday, uh, tai chi, just because I could a couple of weeks ago, and it was really it was nice to do it outside. And I'll probably oh, start doing more of that. I can't imagine why, why you know that that wasn't being done all through the pandemic. Outside's the best place. Yeah, no, a whole group of them were. You know, just that uh, until, I, just the way I re-entered society, if you will. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but well, I'm uh, glad you're back. I'm glad you're exercising again. All right. By the way, you really we all you, need it. You really. Uh, 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 I'm going to look into that esports uh, thing with the. It might be, I, I wonder I'm if it's sure it, Yeah, I'm not sure I read it correctly. It might be eSporta, oh. T-A. But you'd have to look it up. I'll take a look at that. Maybe um, when I find out about it, we'll talk about it. Uh, we'll do a follow-up at some other time. Uh, yeah. But as you say eSports, so that sounds like it's it's not, it may be more uh, uh, electronic than, who knows? Be interesting. Well, it could be. You know, they have, they have, um, Electronic game competitions, right? And that's basically esports. So right. it, it, you may not be aware of this, but it has grown um, exponentially over the last five or ten years. Right, and actually, actually, they actually literally have stadiums. They have filled stadiums. with people who are all simultaneously playing in the same stadium, as opposed to just online. I don't know that well, much yes, about that. Well, yes, and they they also have, they also have bleachers. Where people pay to watch the players, mm. and and big screens to to see who's who's doing what. It, it's an inf and and they're broadcast. They're they're broadcast uh, online. I mean, like X, X, all around X, the country. So they're getting popular like X Games were for a while. Yeah. So so it could be that it could have turned from a gym into a uh, an electronic sports coliseum. Well, you know what, uh, uh, just as a, a, a brief break in the action here, uh, to all of our friends out there, have, what have you been doing for the last year? And have, and if any of you have been involved in either team sports or going to gymnasium, have you started going back? What's your experience been like? Please uh, yeah. share that with us. Yeah, I'd like to know uh, from you if you were exercising regularly, some way, how, during the pandemic, and if that's changed now that things are opening up. So right. And by the way, if your exercise just might go into the refrigerator and opening up the door, and then using your other hand so that you wanted to have some balance in your life, pulling yeah. out, let's say, a cheesecake, you can let us know that too. That's great exercise. Because sure, I know a lot of people that's been their form, primary form of exercise. Yeah. Or you, baking. You know, baking. You remember people used to get tennis elbow? I, I got refrigerator elbow. <laughs> Anyway, uh, well, keep doing what you're doing. Keep moving, because that's our motto: is that we keep moving, and uh, or hit a moving target. Yeah, we keep moving, and you know that you're and, not in the obits. And stay healthy. <laughs> stay healthy. All right. We'll see you soon, guys. For more on celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage. Follow us on Facebook. Subscribe to us on YouTube. And tell your friends, Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.